Good morning and welcome to the Clothis. I hope that you are well this morning. I was reading the book of Ruth and it's such a great story. It's a short book, just a couple chapters, definitely worth the time and worth the read. And it's so good. And this is in this story, we have uh, Naomi and her, her husband and her two sons pass away and she is left with two daughter-in-laws. And so she says to her daughter-in-laws that they can go back to their families and she releases them to go and they don't want to leave. And she says, no, I have no more sons. She releases them to go. And then here is the famous line where Ruth says, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. And she goes on to say, where you die and are buried, that's where I will be buried also. I'm with you. Don't ask me to leave. And then, then they go back to Naomi's hometown. And we learn that it's such a kind and loving and um, just generous thing that Ruth decided instead of going back to her family and being able to start a new family and that kind of thing, that it was just so kind of her to stay with Naomi and take care of Naomi. We hear this. And, and then again we hear this when she lays at the feet of Boaz and basically says, I will marry you. And he says to her how kind it is. She could have chosen a younger man, but how kind it was that she chose him and made herself available to allow him to be the Kingsman Redeemer. And these two things really stood out to me because I just got to thinking how often when we're making life decisions, we look at what, what feels the most comfortable or maybe what's the coolest or the trendiest or what's kind of culturally relevant or what's what feels right or feels good. But when you look at Ruth's story, it it was a harder decision to leave all her family and what she knew to go to a different land with her mother-in-law. And then again, to like, as a young woman, to marry this old man and older man instead of finding a nice young man her age and starting a lovely family with him. And so it just really, and then Ruth is in the lineage of, so from them you get uh, Jesse and David and later, 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 Jesus. And so it's so important that when we're making life decisions and as we're walking forward in our day to day, that we don't just look to what feels right or what kind of seems like it would be the best decision, but that we truly seek the Lord because he will guide us in things that don't always make sense, but he will guide us and he will show us so that we walk in his purposes and his plans because his ideas and his plans are so much greater than ours. So my friends today, I encourage you, no matter how things might look, to seek the Lord and see what he has for you to do today and in this season. Have an amazing day and God bless.